today, we'll use it tomorrow for sure. Okay, go ahead, sister. It is such an amazing, humbling honor to be chosen as the National Teacher of the Year. Our country has three and a half million dedicated teachers who are all out there investing their time, energy, and love into America's students ensuring that they have good futures. I teach at Rogersville City School in Rogersville, Tennessee. It's a small community of about 4,500 located in Northeastern Tennessee. I have students from um, four different language backgrounds, Chinese, Arabic, Jujarati, which is an Indian um, language, and Spanish. Yes, I feel like that my most important role over the next year is going to be to empower teachers to use their voice and their exper expertise to advocate for the things that they need, the things that their students need. As you know, most of the policies that surround education are developed by people who are not educators. They don't spend a lot of time in the classroom. They're not experts. So it's up to teachers to tell about, this is our reality. This is what really goes on in our classrooms. And that is not a problem. You're wasting time on, on issues that are, that are not really issues within our schools when we have so many other issues, such as mental health challenges and teacher retention that need to be focused on. You do up here is a lot like what you do in your classroom. If you have a concern about your child or about something that you think might be being taught in your school, instead of trusting the people who aren't in public schools, Talk to your child's teacher. Your child is the expert. He or she knows what's, what goes on every single day and that's the person that you need to seek your information from and not the media and not legislators because none of those people are in our classrooms every single day. Girl power. All right.